All right, folks, uh, so I had this card for about a month here in Toronto. Uh, this is American, uh, American Express Platinum. If anyone doesn't know this card, it's one of the cards that you pay uh, 500 US dollars for in US or you pay uh, 699 Canadian dollars in Canada in the uh, annual fees. So what does this card give you? I already kind of went through my first video. It was a crappy quality, I understand that, so you don't have to watch it. Uh, this is going to be kind of a follow-up, uh, one month later review. Was the card worth it or not? So let's start with the annual fee. Annual fee is $700. Well, to be precise, uh, $699. So. $6.99, right? So with this fee, as soon as you apply for the card, you will be rewarded with uh, 50,000 American Express points. That's roughly around uh, $500, depends on how you use it. And uh, by saying that, I actually mean that you can use this amount towards either a statement or towards travel. And if you use it towards travel, it actually gives you more. While for the statement, it actually comes to your statement as 500 only. Okay, so next. This card also allows uh, a credit of $200, it's all Canadian dollars, if any of our friends from US are watching us, 200 Canadian dollars once a year, and uh, it's kind of perk that you get for the annual fee of $6.99. So if you sum it up together for the first year, you are even. You are getting your 700 back. But so going forward, after one year of use, you have to use this card all the time. And that's where the problems start. Basically, this card is barely ever accepted anywhere. It is actually hard to use it outside of any major retail stores. Most of the small restaurants would not accept it. Only large organizations and uh, government entities and etc would actually take this card. So that's a minus for the card, right? So minus, not accepted. Everywhere. At the same time, whenever you use this card, it gives you pretty good points. So let's look at the uh, breakdown of the points uh, that it actually provides. So what this card provides you with is uh, three points per dollar spent on dining within Canada and uh, two points for the uh, purchases on the travel, eligible travel. Uh, so most likely that goes only for the American Express travel portal. And then uh, one point for uh, everything else. So really, this one here, that's where most of your purchases will fall under. And in that case, uh, there are a lot better cards to accumulate the points if you don't really spend a lot of money going on this and this. So this is again a uh, big turn off personally for me at least. So second minus. low point return. Pardon my writing, I'm a doctor. Okay, so um, we spoke about the points, right? Another thing about this card is that apart from being overly expensive and not being accepted anywhere and uh, having low points of return, is that it's actually bulky. It, it's uh, very hard to fit in, sometime in your wallet. And uh, 
it's like it's like pretty much a twice as thick as any other card. So if you're into like thin wallets and uh, space saving, it's not that great. But again, it's not a disadvantage. It just you know gives it a uh, premium premium look here. Okay, so now let's talk about the positive sides. I'm gonna put this away here. I'm gonna free up the space. Okay, so first perk is the uh, Travel Breeze at Toronto Pearson Airport. And what this card actually does at Toronto, it gives you complimentary, complimentary valet at Pearson. So that's a big plus, right? I'm gonna start it here. Then, second perk that you get with this card is you get, oh, uh, by the way, before I even jump there, so this gives you a $25 fee wave, right? So uh, second one is you are getting a 15% parking discount. again at Pearson. That's a good plus if you like to park in there. Me personally, I don't. So that's again a um, downside for me. And uh, secondly, how often do you actually go to Pearson? Average Canadian probably goes two, three times a year. Doesn't pay back that uh, 700 bucks in the fees. The next point here we have is a uh, priority access. And again, it's a star immediately. Priority lane access. Basically, this guy over here lets you go through the same path that uh, business class travelers and uh, first class travelers go through. Basically, uh, faster lane, uh, less people in there, and uh, so security is actually nicer and uh, more accommodating over there. So this is a big plus. This is one of the main reasons why I actually took this card. Okay, so other than that, there's not much in there for the travel with Breeze and Pearson. Okay, next one. Say 200 annual travel. This one we spoke about. And uh, so to actually use this uh, service here, you have to go to the American Express travel website. You log in with your card details and etc. However, the rates in there on the planes are actually a bit more expensive than what I can get to the same directions uh, uh, on any other uh, websites, like for example, Skyscanner. So really, you're not saving money there because like, you are paying more for the ticket here than what you would have actually paid for on any other third-party website. So that means it, it actually is not worth it, this, this uh, $200. You're getting it back, but then you're really paying the price that you would pay otherwise, even without this fee. So again, um, travel credit. Not worth it. Another downside about this uh, travel credit, again, uh, not only because you have to uh, use it on their website uh, and everything is overpriced there, um, also uh, the travel portal, it's very limited on the hotel types and it's very limited on uh, what carriers they have. So for, for the flights, they have only Air Canada. And that means that you, you're completely limited only to Air Canada flights, nothing else. That immediately makes it more expensive because certain directions have other carriers and uh, it's a little cheaper to travel with them than Air Canada. Okay, next point here is uh, lounge access. Okay, so this card gives you a uh, unlimited lounge access and you can bring one guest only one guest with you, 
for for each time you're actually visiting a lounge. And uh, there are 1,200 lounges around the globe. And uh, to access those, they actually sign you up for a Priority Pass program. Priority Pass really doesn't give you much freedom there. And uh, with the Priority Pass, uh, you can actually get it with the other cards. Like, for example, I have this card over here from CABC. It's uh, Visa Infinite Aventura. And it also provides you access to the lounges. However, on the Aventura, it's limited to four, four times. So you can basically come in four times and uh, bringing one guest with you as well. And they also sign you up for the Priority Pass. However, if you are having two accounts here, then you cannot combine them. So you have to carry two cards with you to actually be able to, to use both of them at the same time. Which kind of sucks, because like, why not combine two different accounts and give your uh, Priority Pass uh, travelers actually extra, e extra usage, let's say if I'm traveling with a family of four, right? Okay, so it's not as useful as it seems. Okay, so next one here. It's the insurance coverage, and insurance is actually good on this card. So if you are renting a vehicle, uh, this card gives you full insurance, uh, the type of insurance you actually get on your vehicle back at home. So you're getting uh, third-party liability, full coverage, uh, yara yara, all that stuff. So the insurance, even though this was minus, uh, insurance, is good so uh there is a, a really great uh, travel insurance uh, current insurance baggage claim whatever it is it has it and it's like really good it's recognizable around the world people know about it and uh, whenever you come to rent a vehicle they don't even offer you any of their insurance crap policies because they know that you have it here so if you are renting a car very often and you usually take the liability insurance for a part of liability this card is actually going to save you money because on average, if you're taking a liability insurance, let's say somewhere in the United States, it costs you around 15 to 20 bucks a day. So multiply it by five days on average, that's your 100 US bucks right there. And if you're traveling several times a year, it actually makes sense to, to get it. Another one, dining experience here, right? So. This guy over here tells me that there's a uh, global dining collection and all that stuff. You know what? I haven't had a chance to use it. And I actually don't even know how to use it properly. I've been trying to figure it out from the website and etc. I signed up for some kind of local offers. And they do send some emails, some weird ones, uh, for the places that you would not really want to go to. They're either too fancy or too expensive, overpriced, and uh, really not worth it. So. The uh, dining experience is a minus here. I'm gonna call it dining XP here. Okay, next one. Dedicated level of care is called. And this guy over here is telling us that you're always in touch with them and uh, American Express is always there for you as well. And actually, this is true because if you call a regular bank, so for example, I had some issues with, with my CIBC account and I called them for this paid card. This card over here cost me 120 bucks a year in the annual fees. So if I call them, I on average spend around 10, 15, sometime even half an hour um, on the phone just waiting for someone to, to talk to. With the uh, American Express Platinum, you don't have that issue. They pick up the phone immediately. As soon as you call them, those guys are actually picking it up. And they are there to make you happy. That's what's beautiful about this card. So the customer service on it is amazing, guys. So customer service. This is good, guys, here. Okay, another one is the uh, hotel benefits. So 
Hotel benefits sounds awesome here, right? Benefits of a valid customer, complimentary Wi-Fi, gu guaranteed uh, 4 p.m. checkouts, uh, yara yara, all that stuff, daily breakfast, but only if you book it through their website. And pricing on their website, the uh, American Express Travel, is ridiculous. I can get the same hotels on the hotels.com for half the price. And then at the same time, I can get same hotels that are even cheaper on a hot wire if you know how to pick the hotels over there. However, even though the travel benefits are kind of, you know, uh, expensive here for the hotels, there is a catch here. So you actually are able to, op to apply for a membership at this following places, right? So place number one, it's a Marriott. I think it's spelled like that, right? Then second one is Hilton. Third one, Radisson. And the fourth one, there's something else actually. And there's another hotel, so, so never, never mind. So you actually are applying through a external website of uh, American Express through the uh, services page. You apply for the gold membership there. And it automatically gives you that gold membership without, you know, collecting a million points and, or whatever the requirement is. And with that mem membership here, it already is doesn't matter where you book your hotel. So basically, if I book any of the Marriott, Hilton, Radisson or whatever the other hotels there are on the list through the uh, hotels.com, if I book it through uh, Hotwire, as long as they have my name in their system as a gold member, they by default will identify me and whenever I am coming in for a check-in, they will provide me with some of it is funny, but it's actually useful. So free water, usually uh, two bottles. Okay, then they would provide you with free upgrade. And that's actually good because they give you next level of the room for the same price you paid. So usually now when I'm traveling, I'm trying to book place with either of these hotels and uh, going for the, for the cheapest room while they provide me with the upgrade later on the spot. However, there is a catch. They don't have to do it. They do it only when available. So that's a catch. If they are overbooked for, uh, for a weekend, they won't provide you that and they don't have to, right? And also another thing that they give you is a free breakfast. That's another thing that again saves you on average 15, 20 bucks here and there. And why not have it? So the overall hotel membership portion here is awesome. I actually enjoy it because whenever you go there, they see you in the system, they are like, oh, this is a gold member. We have to be careful with him, you know, and they usually try to be nicer to you and try not to screw you up. And people try to be like very, very attentive and uh, genuine with you. Another good part about this is that it actually gives you gold membership at Avis and uh, at uh, Hertz car rentals, right? So with these guys, it works same as with the hotels. It basically gives you a uh, free upgrade on, on your car. Let's say you're booking a medium, they would have to give you a full size, you're booking a full size, they would have to give you a premium and etc. etc. So this is also good and it's, it's also free of charge and it works. So I tested it, it works, it's awesome. And apart from that, there are really no other benefits. So if we come back to our first page here, 
the uh, $600 fee is a bit steep. I think if the fee was around 300 or 400 Canadian dollars in Canada at least, uh, it would actually make a lot more economical sense to take it. But I think uh, what American Express is trying to do here is that they are trying to position themselves as uh, something premium, something not for everyone. And that's why the fee is so steep. But then at the same time, you're kind of getting your money back if you are using the card. So would I recommend this card? I would actually, yes, recommend it, but if you are traveling, at least four weeks. Four weeks out of country. So that's reason number one. And that's the only reason why I would recommend this card, because again, it provides awesome insurance, awesome protection on pretty much like everything saves you a ton of money on the protection and gives you that peace of mind because again american express will not screw you around even when something happens they are there to answer the, that phone call and they answer it immediately so this is the only reason like why i would take it if you are not traveling and if you are just staying in the city all the time then this card is not for you this card is only for the travelers because First of all, you won't be able to use these 200 bucks here annually on anything else rather than hotel bookings through the American Express website or uh, on the flight bookings, again, through the American Express website, which are overpriced. And then uh, these 50,000 points are only given to you once at the uh, sign up. So for the first year, it's kind of paid for itself. You can actually try the card, you know, see how it works for you. But then for the second year, I would actually skip it and I would go back to something a bit cheaper. But that gives pretty much the same perks. Like this card, for example, from CIBC gives me most of these perks, except for the, you know, uh, sign up points. Like when I signed up for this card, they gave me around $300. So over here, they gave me $500. But then don't forget this card cost me $120 a year, while this one cost me uh, $700. So they already given me $300, bucks, plus they waiving the first year fee, which is $120. Bucks. That's in total already uh, $420 right here of value. Pure value, and you can use it any website you want, uh, while this one is actually limited. So... In my personal opinion, as I just said, if you're traveling a lot and you need that extra protection and insurance, American Express Platinum is good for you because you will save a lot of money on the lounges at the airports, you know, like all that parking, schmarking benefit, uh, the uh, rental fees, hotels, it's actually awesome here. If you don't use that, don't go for it. This card is not for you and this is not a good economical card. There are better alternatives to actually, you know, help you save the money and uh, use it better. Plus, another thing about this card is that you cannot really accumulate the uh, balance on this card. So you always have to pay it off at the end of the month, otherwise the fees on, on it are ridiculous. It's something like around, I think like 30%, which is ridiculous. You, give, you can have cards nowadays with like 10, 15%, this card over here has one of those, I think it's 1999 or 21.99%, which is still high, but, but like cheaper than these guys over here. So yeah, thank you, that was Roman, and uh, if you need any other help with the American Express, shoot me a comment down below there. Thank you, bye.